हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू टू अनदर पॉडकास्ट सीरीज विद मी इन दिस पर्टिकुलर एपिसोड आई वुड लाइक टू शेयर विथ यू अ टेक्निक दिस टेक्निक आई हैव टाइटल इट एज द लेटर थेरापी एंड दिस इज समथिंग दैट आई हैव ऑल्सो प्रैक्टिस इट नाउ इफ यू आर वंडरिंग वॉट एग्जैक्टली इज दिस लेट मी फर्स्ट हेल्प यू अंडरस्टैंड द कॉन्टेक्सट अंडर विच यू कैन यूज इट सो friends there are times in our life when we may have a uh, conflicts with one of our close relations they can be our parents friends partners significant other or anyone and there are also times when we may have been into an argument a fight or a not so pleasant situation where the person is either like let's say like a boss who are who may have had wronged us at several places at several locations and in various circumstances but since they are senior to us maybe um, a little not elderly but a little older and out of respect or out of the relation or out of our own position we were not really in a position to confront or speak this could be one uh, scenario another could be where, where at times there are people who might wrong and just go away out of our life we never ever get the chance and opportunity to clarify to explain or simply to ask why we were why did we merit such a bad treatment so situations like this happen in each of our lives they did happen in my life as well and there are times where we feel all the emotion emotions bottle up inside us emotions which we want to vent out we just don't know what to do because we feel helpless we feel as a victim or even at times we feel a bit uh unfair like life is unfair to us and we get into the circle of self pity which is actually not a very healthy place to be in so a better way a better approach this was something taught to me by my coach and that's why i'm sharing it here with you all and i think it will benefit you the way it did to me so all you have to do in this whatever be the scenario uh when we are wrong and when we have lot of emotional baggage and stuff in in our mind which we are carrying and it's really creating lot of stress inside us the best technique is take a pen and a paper i would recommend friends use a pen because this is also scientifically proven that when we write with our hand it has a very different impact on our mind which really help us heal comparatively to if we try and type over the mobile or laptop or uh, personal computers so most likely i suggest that you use a pen and a paper a notebook whatever and then write a letter write a letter to this person who has either wronged you who has treated you badly who has deeply hurt you who has been unfair to you who you always wanted to tell there's a lot that you wanted to say but you couldn't because of many reasons so write a letter in this letter you can even recall the whole incident or series of incidents where what you felt at what different point in time and then continue to explain and vent out exactly how you felt you don't have to worry about your signature your uh, grammar punctuation your handwriting or the format nothing simply write just just go on explaining this person exactly the way you would have done if you had an opportunity to face to face speak to this person once you finish writing this entire letter it can run into several pages it can just be one page or a three page it doesn't matter keep this letter aside give yourself some time you might feel a bit uh, emotional towards the end of it because sometimes when we recall the same emotions that have caused us a uh, deep hurt in the past and when we are writing it the same experiences play out in our mind again 
and they bring in the same emotions that we felt at that time so that's okay just be in it and uh, once you finish writing your letter keep it aside and let all the emotions run its course and relax for some time let few days pass by after passing of few days you can go back and read that letter and trust me friends you may end up laughing i did it i not only felt that i was able to explain convey and take everything out of my head i in fact laughed uh, so much after reading it not necessarily that the same experience may repeat for you but there are two three other options that you could do one you can destroy the letter you can just tear it off and throw it away or you could just keep it away in a place where you may not find it again and in a way you can tell yourself that it's all over it's gone and you have successfully uh, made yourself come out of it while you destroy and tear it off also you can say the same things to yourself and when you do these things subconsciously you are basically trying to unstuck yourself from the past and all those hurtful events that actually led to all these emotions so try it friends each one of us may have a different experience but it does help because at some point in time or the other we do come across such situations such characters in our life which do leave us deeply hurt for a very long time so the way it helped me it might even help you so i hope you will uh, find it very useful the way i found it when i learned it from my coach for the first time well that's all for today thank you so much thank you for listening for being my audience and i'll talk to you soon